Well guys, good morning. Uh, we are packing up from Homer. And today's gonna be a bit of a travel day, so we gotta drive back to Anchorage. We are picking up all the fish that we caught, and it's gonna be stored at uh, Brian's house in Anchorage. So we'll have a bunch of frozen fish for everybody to take back home when we finish our adventures in Kodiak. And then this afternoon we catch a flight. So we go Anchorage to Kodiak. We'll stay in Kodiak tonight. And then assuming the weather holds up and works out, we will be taking like a smaller plane from Kodiak City out to the actual charter boat that we'll be fishing from for the next week. So we'll document some of the travels and stuff. Hopefully everything goes smooth and uh, we'll be in Kodiak City tonight. Come along for another adventure in Alaska. Logan. Feeling good, dude. Feeling we are good. getting ready. Gear dump. Looking good. Looking good. Gear dump at the good. airport. Do you want me to put shotgun shells in my bag? Yeah. Okay. How many boxes? As many as you can. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. man. All I got is these cheeseburgers, man. Throw <laughs> two in. Okay. I'll throw two in. Oh, these. these my gloves? Did, <laughs> did you just did. comment on my gloves? Like, did. man, they're nice. I said those gloves are excellent. Look at that, guys. Just picked these up, a uh, little tip from a local fishing guy I know, his name's Corey. He runs a big boat. These are waterproof and they're rubber. They're also breathable and they're lined. So Logan and I went to the local fish and tackle shop in Homer, picked up a couple pairs. But uh, we're basically getting our gear ready. Time to catch another flight. Anchorage to Kodiak City is where we are headed. I believe we're gonna treat ourselves to a nice dinner this evening. And then uh, tomorrow morning, weather permitting, we are heading out to the boat and we can start hunting pretty soon after but today is a travel day all right you got your lock off already right on how many items will i find you in here three three there is a life vest under each seat in premium class and main cabin in first class they are at floor level between the seats infant life vests will be provided if needed if instructed by a crew member, remove your vest by pulling the red tab and tearing open the bag. Place the vest. Welcome to Kodiak, Alaska, folks. Guys, we are at uh, Island Air. It's our private charter flight. We're going to be taking on to the boat. And uh, a big component of flying these smaller planes is getting the weight situated. So we're going to get everything reorganized onto this big scale. And then uh, we'll know what our damage is. You're allowed 50 
pounds a guy, in addition to what you're wearing, we're definitely gonna be over, but it just kind of comes with the territory. I think we're gonna leave the gun cases here and repack a little bit. Yeah, exactly. As we made it to uh, our destination, just took the Cessna 208 that uh, Captain Steve flew us in on. It was a gorgeous flight. I think it was about as ideal as you can get for Alaska weather. It is cold, but it's clear, a little uh, storm pushed through. So uh, we're in Larson Bay, and we're gonna be getting picked up by Garrett, who is gonna be our transporter on the boat this week. Lots of anticipation, lots of excitement. But, uh, part one of the trip went awesome with the fishing and it's pretty wild to like imagine what we're going to get into over the next six days here but I know it's going to be fun it's going to be an adventure alright for the rest of the gear guys yep. this grass patch right here is perfect we'll, we'll get all that there and then let me get as many guys as possible in here and we'll be back in about five minutes six minutes As we uh, just get the boat loaded up and stuff, but we've already been glassing up some blacktails. Yeah, yeah, right from the harbor. Logan's got the long lens on him. Dylan's got the spotting scope on it. But just an absolutely gorgeous morning in Larson Bay here. The one buck we're looking at actually looks like a pretty solid buck. He's a three point for sure. He might have eye guards too. Yeah, so it's gonna be a super fun adventure. I think we're gonna have a good weather window, at least for the beginning part of the trip. And uh, this fresh blanket of snow you see around us just happened last night so it's going to be a lot easier to spot them they definitely stand out in the snow field so the temperatures are going to stay cold i suspect at least on the north facing slopes that snow is going to stick around for a little bit pretty cool though glass and sick of blacktail from the boat dock you bring some of the stuff down there or not yet yeah go grab your uh grab your bunk this boat's the bomb.com Welcome to my crib. This is how I live. That's what we're really doing, huh? Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> There's big giant sea lions swimming under the dock. Is it really? <laughs> Man, this is freaking super wild. So this is uh, our casa. Logan, I believe, is taking the upper deck. Upper decker. On the lower one. Uh, that way I can reach up and punch him if he's snoring. <laughs> Dylan, Matt here. The rest of the guys are going to file into these uh, open bunk slots. Putting on my Alaska gloves because we're officially in Larson Bay. Anyway, it's going to be a super fun time. Can't wait for you guys to uh, come along and experience this adventure with us uh, for the very first time. Uh, just because, you know, we've never done this before. So it's going to be new for you, it's going to be new for us. But by the end of this trip, hopefully we're going to be able to provide you guys with some cool information. Uh, on if you ever wanted to try a hunt like this yourself. A lot of uh, variables and you know barriers of entry to get into Alaska. Super intimidating, but it seems like it's on so many people's bucket list. And if we can make that any easier for those of you that would like to do this, uh, that's gonna be the goal, along with showing a lot of cool content. So here we go. So um, we're gonna go look at that first off and then it looks like we're gonna get beat up with a bunch of Northwesterly. 
and when that happens, we'll turn around and we'll just kind of get in the lee side of it and cut you guys loose. Uh, what we have seen on the island um, is these, there's these pockets where some animals did better than others. The troopers do want us to like kind of keep you guys informed on that. Some of these, some sections of the island are going to be tough hunting. Other sections are going to be less tough. And our big thing of the week is find what's working for you guys. You figure something out. You find a pocket. And as long as the weather will keep us there, I'm gonna keep. I'll keep you guys on it. So that way you can, you know, rinse and repeat, right? <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen, folks. Just making a little sando. Uh, we're running out to an area that Glory's actually spent some time hunting before. So we're gonna go do a little exploring today. I figure we'll have like a handful of hours to hunt. It's crazy because like we've just only been on the boat for a little while. It hasn't been that long. Uh, we got all of our packs organized and squared away, got changed into our hunting gear. Pretty much ready to rock. Got the uh, rundown from Garrett on like bear safety, uh, just other like random boat things we need to be aware of. So it's kind of a help yourself. They provide the transportation, the lodging, and the food. And so uh, we're gonna just make a sandwich and then here shortly we'll be hopping in a skiff and running to shore. We've already glassed up a couple black tail, which is pretty cool. Um, I think myself, Matt, Dylan from Onyx and Logan are gonna go ahead. 1.5 miles. Hit it out. About 10 minutes. 10 minutes out, guys. Here we go. Captain Corey hooked up. What? I thought we were going hunting for. Just kidding. Just kidding. Matt, what should we expect? Getting ready to load up, head to the beach. We uh, got some big mountains to climb. Go chase some deer. Hopefully some deer to chase. Yeah, we gotta figure out the stick brush, make a strategy. But we'll get up high in glass. It's been a beautiful day. It's gonna be like probably in the 40s. Snow in the last two days, so I think they'll be out and moving. We saw a whole bunch of moving, cruising, uh, following some does by the marina there. So. All right, I'm ready. Got a brand new spot Fire here to go check up. out. All the boards coming, board. Yeah. Ooh, I got that Vanguard. It's awesome. Yeah, it's a good one. Whether it be What'd you see, Brian? Oh, this is a ginormous Kodiak brown bear track. Probably bigger than our head, huh? This freaking giant. It's a good sign, right? Is uh, we got this big basin. We're gonna try to just work up it, gain some elevation. Thinking here, probably another few hundred yards, we'll probably post up for a bit. Do some like meaningful glassing. Haven't seen any here. Just walking yet. And see what we can turn up. You have a deer in the spotting scope. But this grass is so tall, it's hard to see. Pick them up. No, I got one close. 
Can you, Matt, can you try to knock some of this grass down in front of me? Yeah. It's right down here in this basin. Oh, there that we go. That works. <laughs> Money, Matt. Oh, yeah. Got a buck, baby. Woo! We are got we, a buck. Are we looking in the uh, yellow? Your deer spotting machines. How far do you think? Just over a thousand yards, it seems like. About a thousand? Yeah. There we go, folks. We're on the board, baby. First sick of buck out yes. in the wild, spotted. So a thousand yards, that, that should only take five hours to get to. <laughs> seen a few does, saw a good buck. We're right up where we saw him go into the brush. I think he's bedded down with the doe. We're gonna get a little aggressive, a little risky. I'm gonna try a doe bleat. Uh, obviously, like you may have seen that brief windy footage, we saw two Kodiak brown bears up the drainage. Doe bleats can be super effective at calling in does and bucks, and also Kodiak brown bears. We're hoping that doesn't happen, but it's kind of windy. We're about 350, 400 yards from where these deer went in the brush. Let's see what happens. So assuming this tactic works, uh, some does could potentially filter down, kind of coming to explore the fawn in distress call we're gonna use. And uh, that buck, being as ruddy as he is, could be right in tow. So we're just kind of getting set up before we start doing anything. Kind of practice comfort level. The setup's actually pretty comfortable to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't want to always stand shooting by any means, but it's a fairly steady rest. I just shot a buck. Brian spotted him. And we were still hunting on the way back. He looked at him, just didn't really get him excited. And I said, deer with horns, that gets me excited. So I shot, looks like I was a little high. It's kind of windy in here. Not the best dressed, but I felt confident. I hit him and he dropped. So just working through all this thick stuff to get over to him. Well, that happened fast. I glassed him up, a little two point. Logan was like, dude, I'll shoot that buck all day. So 
and then go try to get him recovered. Holy cow. Like I said when I was running over here, Brian spotted him. We were just kind of still hunting, making our way back to the boat. It's getting dark, we gotta hurry. Um, but he got him in the scope. Didn't really get him too excited. And he kind of, Brian looked around to see if anybody, anybody else wanted to shoot him. And I went, <laughs> said deer with horns on Kodiak Island, I'll do it. So I kind of jumped up. We got a down buck though. So this the name of the game is, uh, Corey told us like 45 minutes as fast as you can process. First things first, get the tag on him before anything. And we're gonna process him, hump it up over here and drop it down into the boat. But we have meat on our boat tonight. That's the first animal I've killed in three years. Good job, Logie. <laughs> Sick of blacktail down. I'm gonna tag him up real quick and then we can uh, start cutting him up. Matthew? Hey. Oh, sweet. There's uh, We were sitting over here on this other side of this hill kind of all afternoon and just watching deer in and out of this thick stuff. Uh, we went down and found an awesome creek crossing. You guys saw some of that footage. I got up here on this flat and there's just deer tracks everywhere. We probably saw half a dozen does, two or three different bucks. It's hard to keep track and you see them for five or six seconds and then they're gone. You never see them again for two hours. So we figured last chance, we're not coming back to this spot tomorrow. We just cross, come through here, still hunt the last hour and uh, worked out perfect. Buck crossing out there 250 yards or so and we got him. Have a good that was wild. That was fast, quick. Huh? It was quick. We were looking for a different buck, and I didn't know what was going on. All of a sudden, Matt's like, "Grab the the tripod," because we we're Run. too tall of uh, too tall of grass and stuff. You couldn't get get a good shot. So, got the tripod, and Logie made it happen. That was awesome. Guys, we broke down Logan's deer. It took us uh, about 35 minutes. We had guys keeping guard for bears. Logan's coming out heavy. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting's <laughs> not great, but there's got, a deer on there. We got a sick blacktail right there. So time to head to the boat, get some dinner. Pretty awesome evening. First Great day start. on Kodiak, baby. <laughs> G-Baby! G-Baby! Thanks for the lift, buddy! Yeah, dude! Welcome back! <laughs> Heck yes! Boys! Boys! We had to kill something. We had to smoke something. <laughs> back on board, baby. First night, success! <laughs> That's a W. Hey, boy, Logie. That's a giant W. Look at this. Um, meatball hoagies on a boat. Brando's got dinner served. Uh, it looks amazing. Just had a little starter salad. And uh, we're refueling. Logie got his first Kodiak Sitka deer on the boat. Today was really a bonus day in our eyes because we had so much travel going on. So uh, I'd say expectations are exceeded so far. Hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. More will be coming at you for another five or six days worth of hunting. Uh, we saw a couple brown bears, saw a bunch of deer, saw some fox, saw some ducks. We're gonna have a whole smorgasbord of Kodiak Alaska coming here uh, in the near future. So thanks for watching. Make sure you do us a favor, subscribe to our channel, please. And we'll see you tomorrow.